everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is McPato and this is McPato PC. And today I want to get into a 14 game benchmark. I have results for you guys at three resolutions. All of them are tested at ultra setting the preset or the highest available, whether that's uh, called extreme or high or very high or whatever. <clears throat> I use that preset in each game. Uh, the exception is Grand Theft Auto 5, where I did change a few of the advanced settings, so they're set a little higher than normal. And that, of course, will affect performance negatively, but that's how I play my game, and there's so many settings in there that I don't want to have to mess around. Uh, I keep getting reminded my videos go way too long, and you guys just want the numbers, so I'm going to get right into it here. Followed by a summary for anyone interested, I'll go over a bit of uh, useful information. Uh, with that said, just a bit of information using the driver 19.1.1 for my Vega 64, which is a reference Sapphire 64. Uh, it does have a Morpheus 2 cooler installed. You guys can see my dogs in the back there. Uh, it's got a Morpheus 2 installed, and that is overclocked to about 1712 megahertz. And the HBM is at uh, 1145, and uh, the voltage is reduced to 1130 millivolts on the GPU core. And of course, there's a custom fan profile. Uh, CPU is at stock. It's a Ryzen 5 2600 on an ASRock Tai Chi X470 motherboard. And I'm running 32 gigabytes of Rip Jaws 5 from G Skill at 2733 megahertz. So, with that out of the way, we're going to jump right into the benchmarks. It's a different format for me. I'm just going to put the numbers on the screen with a bit of video rolling in the back. And when it's all said and done, we're going to come back. I'll give you guys my thoughts, some useful information. And we're going to compare Vega to the Radeon 7, which comes out in eight days. All right, enjoy the, the charts here, and we'll be back in a bit.
Okay, so with that out of the way, uh, I'm going to get into some summary here and my thoughts on Vega 64, what it's suited for and uh, what uh, we can expect in the future. So basically at every resolution I have what I would consider sort of a, a goal or a, a desirable frame rate. For myself at the 1080p I like 100 FPS. At 1440p, I like uh, 75 FPS or better. And at 4K, I would like 55 FPS or better. And when we consider that, which is just objectively my own preferences, um, Vega 64 at 1080p met my goal at 64% of the games. Uh, it met my goal 71% of the time using 1440p and it met it 43% of the time at 4k. Uh, so it's well suited to four, uh, 1440p and 1080p gaming that is for sure. Uh, one game which of course kind of holds things back is Ghost Recon Wildlands at ultra settings 1080p it only managed uh, 54 FPS, which is pretty low, 49 at 1440p, and 31 at 4K. Other than that, it's a pretty smooth experience at 1440p and uh, 1080p. Hit and miss, though, at the 4K. And speaking of which, if we look at what uh, AMD themselves claim uh, Radeon 7 will be capable of at 4K Ultra, uh, they gave a number of 40 FPS for Vega at uh, for Deus Ex Mankind Divided using DirectX 12. I was able to get 35 FPS. So with the Ryzen compared to the Intel CPU they're using, and I think I read somewhere that they're using liquid-cooled Vega. That may or may not be the case. Don't quote me on it, but I, I thought I read that somewhere. Regardless, my overclock runs about the same close to a liquid um, and I got 35 so claiming 40 is not unreasonable uh, for Far Cry 5 they claim 49 for Vega I got 43 again uh, the CPU could account for some of that difference uh, they're, they're saying the Radeon 5, uh, 7 will get 62 in Far Cry 5 so that's a decent bump uh, I'm not sure if I said that Deus Ex Mankind Divided, they're claiming uh, 53 compared to the 40 for Vega 64. Uh, and Ghost Recon Wildlands 4K, they're saying instead of 29, which I actually got more, I got 31. Uh, they're saying Radeon 7 will get 36, so definitely possible. I would think you could even probably get 40 uh, with Radeon 7. Grand Theft Auto 5, they claim 60, and they say Radeon 7 will get 76. Uh, I was able to get 
50 uh, but again I'm using some advanced shadows and that kind of thing so that probably would account for that difference and Shadow of the Tomb Raider I got 34 at 4k Ultra they claim Radeon or sorry Vega can get uh, 36 so 2 FPS more again the CPU probably could account for that and they're saying Radeon 7 would get uh, 48 so but 12 better there and finally the Witcher 3 I was able to get 39 FPS 4k Ultra they claim 41 and they say that Radeon 7 will get 55 uh, with that uh, said guys one last thing considering the 14 games getting an average FPS across the 14 at 1080p my Vega 64 was able to get 114 FPS across the board uh, 1440p 14 game average was 93 FPS and at 4K it was able to get 55 FPS. Alright guys that's going to conclude this video. If you're interested in those Radeon 7 Vega benchmark numbers that AMD gave I'm going to put a link down in the description. You guys can click on that link and check it out for yourselves. Otherwise that's going to conclude this video. If you liked it consider hitting the like button. If you like my channel, my style, my approach to this, consider subscribing. There's going to be lots more video coming up in the future on Vega and gaming benchmarks, as well as many other interesting topics, I'm sure. And of course, thanks again for tuning in, guys. I appreciate the support. Feel free to leave a comment down in the description below. And uh, with that, let me know if you're going to get Radeon 7 or stick with your Vega 64. And if you don't have a Vega 64, what do you have if you're going to be upgrading to Radeon 7? Thanks again, guys. I'm going to say goodbye for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.